Hello there and welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing my face, my name is Lakeisha Adams and here on YouTube I create a lot of skincare, lifestyle, and sometimes hair related videos. So if that sounds like something that you are interested, make sure that you are subscribed. First, I want to start off by saying I hope you guys are doing well considering everything that's going on right now. Things are crazy and there really is no other word to describe it. But Amongst all that craziness, I've always tried to be a very positive person and to make sure that any content that I put out has a positive impact on someone else's life. I've always said that my content is something that I wish I would have seen when I was growing up. So that's why I do the things that I do. And I hope that still remains. For me, I took a little bit of time two weeks to just gather myself together and completely remove myself from all of social media so I can get my thoughts together. Because I'm pretty sure that if I made this video two weeks ago, I, I really don't know how I'd be able to have a very positive message. Two weeks ago, I posted a project here on my channel to support the Black Lives Matter movement here in Canada. And this was inspired by Zoe Amira, who did the same thing on hers. The video did get taken down, as with a lot of similar videos. And because of this, all of the specifics about the video are pretty much gone off of my YouTube account. But I did want to take the time to first share with you guys what we've raised from that video. So I'm going to pan you guys over to my computer so you guys can see what happened with the video. If I go... Hmm, analytics? Would it show me anything? No. Okay. So here you guys can see it doesn't really show me much information about it because it had been removed. But from what you can see over here, from what you can see, this video gained over 4,000 likes and 77,000 views, and we did raise roughly $600. So that is what I will be donating to the Black Lives Matter Movement Canada. Now on my website, LakeishaAdams.com, I did post an article with tons of information about how to support the Black Lives Movement Canada that is still on my website. It's a compiled list of a bunch of other videos that you can stream. I will be updating the list with videos that are still available, petitions you can sign, and just like foundations that you can donate to, tons of other resources and information on there. So please check that out if you're looking for ways that you can help and educate yourself as well as contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement yourself. Um, that is still up and live. No one can take that down. For today's video, I did want to take a moment and just talk with you guys. You know, everything you're seeing on social media, everything that you're seeing on the news, there's so much information flying at you left, right, and center. There's a lot of people that want to help in any way they can and it's kind of hard to figure out what exactly you can do as one person. So today I'm going to share with you guys three ways that you can really help the Black Lives Matter movement in a way that is simple and it's something that everyone can do in their everyday life. The first thing is what I touched on earlier in this video. It's to relax, okay? That may sound counterproductive, but I get the feeling that a lot of people are feeling really overwhelmed by all the information. There's people who never really thought that this happened, never thought this happened in your area, and you're being enlightened to the realities and the experiences of people that you call your friends. And it, it can be a rude awakening. And I'm specifically speaking to all of the allies who haven't grown up being cognizant of everything going on. For myself, this is nothing new. This is something that's been affecting me, my family, my entire life. But I can see that for some people, this they just never understood that this happens. So take a moment to focus on yourself if you need to. I did it myself. I, I took my break and I took my moment away from everything because it was just getting to me, it was getting too much. So I did that for myself. The point that I'm getting at is this movement doesn't just start and end with George, with Brianna, it doesn't stop there. There's so much more that still needs to be done within our communities and our society as a whole, the police department with a lot of other things. And it's not going to be finished right now. So if you are tiring yourself out by consuming all of this information, consumption is great, but you can be overwhelmed by it. And I'm not telling you to ignore it. 
I can't ignore it, whether I want to or not, we need you at your full capacity because this movement doesn't end at the end of June. This movement transcends Black Lives Matter. It is about human rights. It's about civic rights. It's about life. And in order to really create change, you need to be in the proper mindset to make change. And when we're done and we've received justice, we're going to hop on over to our Native American brothers and sisters and make sure that they have their justice. And when we're done there, we're going to rally up behind our Mexican brothers and sisters, our Latino brothers and sisters, and make sure they have their justice. When we're done there, we're going to go to our Muslim brothers and sisters and make sure that their rights are heard and understood. When we're done there, we're moving over to our transgender brothers and sisters and make sure that they are there as well. This movement doesn't start and begin with June, where there's so much more that we need to do. And the only way that we're going to change society and be able to live collectively together in peace and harmony is if we all take a stand for it. And when I'm talking about relaxing, I'm not talking about the superficial, put on a mask, wash your face, take a bath. While those are helpful, I'm talking about long lasting, getting a routine to help you practice mindfulness, to help you practice feeling grounded. You know, feeling stressed is not going to help you move forward. Feeling anxious and overwhelmed is not going to help you. So you need to develop a routine, some type of mechanism, whatever it is that you want to do, be it exercise, mindfulness, you know, creativity, you know, painting, art, whatever the case may be, find something that helps you stay grounded. The second way that you can help the Black Lives Matter movement is to read. Read a lot. Education is key. For a lot of the allies who have never really seen these things happening, read, watch movies, read books. There's so much information out there. I know that growing up in school, I really didn't learn much about myself or where I came from, anything other than the Civil War movement and the Underground Railroad here in Canada. It's a history that is all but lost. As a community, as Black people, we've been pleading, begging for years, telling people how we feel, telling people what's offensive, I've come to the realization that it's not my responsibility to teach other people how to be a decent human being, how to see other people as equal. It's not our duty, but we do it and we're still going to do it anyways. As Black people, we need to learn about ourselves, about our history. For years, we've been told that the history of Black people begins and ends with slavery. And it's just not true. I had to go to university and take a class to know anything about me. After high school is when I actually started to learn about black history, about true black history, about what happened before slavery, about what happened after slavery, especially here in Canada. They don't teach any of that in the schools. I know everything about America. I know everything about Europe, but I know absolutely nothing about Canada's history with slavery. And there is a history. I know nothing about Africa. I know nothing about pretty much any other continent in the world other than North America. And that is really sad. Very sad. I'm just taking time to educate myself about where I came from. And that is so hard to find because records have been completely lost. I know I'm getting off topic, but this, the sense of what I'm saying is educate yourself. Read. There are so many books movies about the black experience. I'm very passionate about education because I love learning and I love teaching and I really feel like our education system needs some work. It's important to have conversations as well, but it'd be much more beneficial if everyone is starting from a place of knowledge. If everyone knows a little bit about something, then we can talk together and create new ideas, but read first. And number three, stand up when you see something. I've had a lot of conversations with friends, with allies, with people from various walks of life. And, and I know that you may be feeling like you don't want to take the spotlight away from black voices and you don't know if it's your place to talk about it or how to feel about it. And if you're stuck in that place as well, then think about it this way. Think about it this way. Most people care about the environment about climate change. So we reuse, we reduce, and we recycle. And people are very, very passionate about this. I am as well. 
Are you a tree? If the answer is no, does that mean that your opinions about the environment don't matter? By the same token, most people care about human rights, about what's right and what's wrong, about people being treated fairly and justly, about people being hurt and put down and kept back and belittled. Are you a human? If the answer is yes, then your thoughts and your opinions and the emotions that you feel about someone else being hurt, they're absolutely valid and you have a place to talk about that. Now do step number two first and read and make sure that you have something to bring to the table. But yes, everything that you feel is justified because this is a human being treated unjustly. So use your voice and vote, sign petitions, and make sure that rule makers know what you want from them. As long as it doesn't put yourself in any immediate harm or danger, stand up for someone. When you see something happening, when you see someone being hurt, because if I am not my neighbor's keeper, then who am I? But those are things that you can do. Take care of your mind, educate yourself, and speak up. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. I will see you in my next video.